Um, let's talk about some hacks, all right? So instant stated income loans, okay? So right now, you can get an instant uh, stated income loan. No docs required. You can get up to a $50,000 personal loan. No docs required. You can, you can also do the credit cards, but that's not a loan, okay? So if you need a loan right now, personal loan, auto loan, you can get it, just stated income. That's super helpful for entrepreneurs like myself to not have to give all of this paperwork to get an approval, okay? I just went over that as well. Um, soft pull credit limit increases through the app, okay? So this does not work when you call in. This does not work when you go into a branch. If you want to get a credit limit increase on your card, you go in through your Navy Federal app, you go to your credit, uh, your, your credit card, you request a credit limit increase. You want to make sure that you do that every 100 days to try to get the maximum that you can. Remember, the maximum exposure limit is 80000 across the board for all of your revolving lines on the personal side. So you can really get that going crazy. Uh, the thing is, though, is all of the all of the cards are capped at 50K outside of the flagship card, okay, which is 80K. Okay, so soft pull credit limit increases through the app. All right, make sure you're doing that every 100 days. Does not pull your credit, okay? I can attest to it. I've had two credit limit increases with Navy Federal. It's been great. Cash advance hack, okay? Now, in your app, you can go into... Um, your card, right? You can see what your credit limit is, and it's going to say cash advance, uh, cash advance limit, right? You're going to see that limit within your app. You can go on there, look at your cash advance limit. If you have a twenty-five thousand dollars line of credit, then you should have thirty percent of that available to you, right? For instant use. With this hack, your credit card now turns into a line of credit. Remember, there's no cash advance fees. The APR is just two percent greater than the actual APR. So if your APR is 6%, your cash advance APR is 8% and there's no cash advance fee. That's big time, ladies and gentlemen, because if you have a $50,000 line of credit, now you have a $15,000 cash advance that you don't have to be applying for these loans. You can literally just move the money from your credit card into your checking account. I'll say that again. If you have a $50,000 credit card with Navy Federal, you can move 30% of that off of that card directly into your checking account instantaneously, not have to pay a cash advance fee. You're just paying 2% more on your APR. Interest occurs right away, okay? And you can, can look at that, right? You can break all that down. But if you need to get a deal, you need something under table, you need money ASAP, right? You can leverage your lines of credit, your business lines of credit, your personal lines of credit. But if you had, you know, $50,000 card with Navy Federal and another one with 30,000 because you have a maximum exposure of 80. Well, now you can have $24,000 liquidity like that, okay? So you can move this money right off your credit card into your checking account, 30% of it right away. Now, do you wanna do that all the time? No, but if you need that money, <laughs> get it. You don't have to apply for it. It's already been approved. So that's the nice thing because you don't have to go apply for a loan. You don't have to waste an inquiry. You don't have to have an origination fee. You don't have to pay a monthly interest rate. You know, you literally only pay for the time that you use that line of credit, right? So it's really, really helpful to have that cash advance fee. Remember, it's 30%. But let's talk about this one. This one is going to be super dope, okay? This is the go prepaid hack, all right? If you have heard of this, put me in the chat. If you have used this, put I in the chat. I have used this all the time. Um, Lat earlier on this year, okay? Credit card liquidation with no risks. Let's look at it, okay? This is what it looks like, and you got to order it, okay? It's going to be an orange card. Love orange cards, right? Orange is great. Okay, so you can load money onto your Go Prepay card with your mobile app or go online. You have a separate portal to literally move money from your credit card onto this. I'll show you how. Shop online in stores anywhere. Visa debit cards are accepted. This is going to be a prepaid like debit card, right? It's a go prepaid card, okay? So this will work anywhere where Visa uh, is accepted, okay? You can track all this stuff, but here's the key. Point of sale limit is $3,000 a day on this card. So you can spend up to $3,000 with point of sale. You can do ATM withdrawals, $600 a day, okay? And then if you are... Uh, an owner, you can customize this. This is meant for budgeting. This isn't meant for liquidating, but we use this for liquidating because we've we found the loopholes, okay? So your total card limit can have 10,000. So each, and hear this, 
Number of cards, you can add up to five card holders. Okay, so if you have a credit card of $50,000, you can call Navy Federal and say, hey, listen, I want five prepaid cards. Okay, they'll send you five prepaid cards. Then you'll have a portal for each one of those cards. Okay, and you can have $10,000 limit on it. So what can you easily do? You can load your prepaid cards with your credit card. And you can literally liquidate an entire credit card in one day. So where you could only do 30% on a cash advance, you can literally load five cards, $10,000 a card, which is amazing. Amazing. It's literally a $50,000 line of credit at this point. You're welcome. You joined a program that can change your life. This hack, this cash flow strategy, literally could pay for that $14.97 for you. I'm literally pushing this into your head because you have no clue what you signed up for. This should be like an admin fee. Like we go all out here. If you have not seen the American Express call, go back and see that. That was crazy, okay? But this literally turns into a credit card, which is a line of credit using this go prepaid method. Is it tedious? Yeah, but guess what? If you really want the money, you'll do it, right? So if you can only spend $3,000 a day, well, that's one card. So you take five cards, that's $15,000 a day. And then you say, well, I can only get $600 out of a card. Yeah, but you have five cards. So now what? That's 600 times five is three grand a day in ATM. So you can just liquidate 3,000. If some of you guys have ATM businesses, this is solid. Because not only can you do this with the personal stuff, you can do this with the business card as well. And now when you use the business card, it actually doesn't uh, go against your utilization on the personal side. That's a crazy hack for you. You guys aren't ready for that. Okay, so here's the here's the features on this, right? Look at this. Load funds anytime with your Navy Federal Visa or MasterCard debit or what? Credit card. So I'm not I'm not telling you to do anything to break their terms and condition. They're saying you can load your prepaid cards with a Visa or MasterCard credit card. So you want to know why people want Navy Federal is because they can liquidate credit cards like this. They can get stated income loans like this. They can start on Toro like this. They can do real estate investing like this, all from the personal side to bootstrap the business, get cash flow going, then open up a business credit account. And then now they have all of these statements to show how much money they've been making. And now they're getting credit on the business side. They move that debt over to the business side, free up the personal side. And now you have two machines going, okay? It's about knowing the rules and knowing how to play in or outside of them, okay? However you want to look at that, okay? Like I said, $10,000 limit, and you can load them with a MasterCard credit card or a Visa credit card, Navy Federal only. This will not work with any other card outside of Navy Federal. I have news for you. There's other credit unions that have this type of program too. They won't talk about it. You know why they won't talk about it? They don't want it to go away, okay? So... Yeah, guys, this is a major, major hack, okay? Um, like that Charles Schwab play I told you guys about last week, this is, the, this is just up there with that, okay? Because now you can liquidate the credit cards, pay off your American Express, American Express, go back. You can literally go from Navy Federal, American Express, Navy Federal, American Express, Navy Federal, American Express, like that, okay? Uh, debit ATM fees are credited back to you nationwide. You come to Vegas, this is not financial advice. You want to gamble, you want a sports bet. You want to play tables and, and whatever the case is, you want to play slots. These uh, ATM machines are super expensive, right? Like 10 bucks to get money out. Use your debit card with Navy Federal. There's no ATM fees. They charge you on it. And then every single month they debit, they credit you back what your ATM fees are. There's literally no ATM fees nationwide or worldwide. Okay, super big. So if you're in places where there's high ATM, just use your debit card with Navy Federal. You'll get that money out. And then you'll get that credited back to you at the end of um, your statement. So that's super cool as well, okay? Flagship card hack, if you have any credit card, okay? Good standing with that card, you can actually do a product change into a flagship card, okay? Within a year, after one year. So one year, you can reduce your APR. You can get into the flagship if you want as well, or any other card that as that matters. So if you really like the Amex card better, why do I not like the Amex card, guys? Because when I go back here, I can't use this hack with an Amex card. In my opinion, the Amex card is the best card of Navy Federal, but I can't use it for this play. 
So there's no need for me to fill it, fill up my, my revolving credit with that card whatsoever. Why would I do that? So that's why I don't have that card. Okay. Uh, you can buy crypto with a debit card with Navy Federal. Okay. That's big to me. A lot of debit cards are not allowing you to buy crypto with a debit card. Okay. I didn't say credit card. I said debit card. So a lot of institutions are stopping you from buying crypto right now. For my crypto people, just tune me out if you don't like crypto. I don't care. Crypto is not your thing. Just tune me out for a minute. For those that like crypto, okay, not financial advice. You signed the agreement. That's what it is. This, is. this is all entertainment, baby. But literally, for those people that like crypto, that we may not even have seen the bottom yet. Imagine Bitcoin at $5,000, $10,000. I'm buying Bitcoin at five ten thousand dollars, <laughs> and imagine the altcoins that happen with that as well. It's a garage sale for the rich right now. We don't have legislation right now. The moment legislation happens, it's all planned, guys. It's all planned. The moment the legislation happens, the next bull run happens. The ripple case gets over. We're back to the races. Okay, I can't tell you when that is, but what I can tell you is you can dollar cost averaging right now. With your debit card, you need the money. You guys already know how to liquidate the credit cards, okay? I'm not saying to, to liquidate credit cards to buy crypto. I did that. I turned out okay, okay? But I'm not telling you to do that, all right? But this is a very easy way to buy crypto and get into the market, specifically crypto.com. Crypto.com has no problem using your debit card with Navy Federal to buy, you know, I think it's like $15,000 a day, okay, on the debit card. So I'm just letting you guys know that if the market drops even heavier and you want to buy crypto, I hope you're with Navy Federal because you can literally do that quickly with the debit card. I already talked to you guys about couples separating your accounts for more funding. Okay. Shamori is with his partner. Shamori can have 80,000 in revolving credit. His partner can have 80,000 in revolving credit. They both can have their own business checking accounts. That's another 25. They can each have 105,000. $210,000 in business and basically funding for their business or for their personal. They can also get the stated income loans. That's, that's even more money. Okay. So keep your accounts separate. Okay. I know that you want to keep the bedroom monogamous, but don't keep the checking account monogamous. Okay. I can't even talk today. Keep your stuff separate. Okay. Because you'll get more funding that way. All right. Build up that NFCU internal score. The higher you get that score up, the less underwriting you have to go through with Navy Federal, especially on the business side. Especially on the business, you have a $50,000 personal loan you paid off, you're looking good. You got an $80,000 limit on a credit card and you stay under 10 to 20% utilization you paid off every month, you're looking good. You got five pledge loans and each one has gone higher, you're looking good. Ladies and gentlemen, relationships matter, not just in life, but in business and banking too. Don't go asking for a limit where you haven't earned it because these banks will take your deposit and they'll lend out 10% of what you have in your account, okay? So you really, 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 really want to make sure that you take care of Navy Federal. You want to take care of American Express. You want to take care of Chase, Bank of America, all the ones that we're talking about. Take care of it because each one is very unique. With Navy Federal, build your credit quick. Restore your credit quick and get massive lines that you can liquidate in, in a day. I can liquidate $50,000 in a day. In a week, I got all the money in the account moving it somewhere else. Pay off the Amex, boom, the cash flow comes in, pay off the Navy Federal. You could have your Amex on the first, you could have your Navy Federal on the 15th. Then <laughs> you can spread off your business. Guys, I don't know if you guys, I, I probably have to draw a diagram to really map that out for you. But if you have your Amex stuff due on the first, right? And you have your stuff from Navy Federal on the 15th. And then you mix up your business accounts as well. Your cash flow could be crazy, especially if you can pull money off, pay off the Amex, cash flow comes in from your business, pay off the Navy Federal, boom. It's like a giant assembly like line. <laughs> like, but people don't have this type of liquidity. They don't have this type of cash flow because they don't know how to set it up. And this is just the personal side. This is not even like the business side. 